Hey everybody, welcome back to Cheap Comic Collector. This is episode 250. Wow. Um, today we're going through some new comics that I got in uh, from Captain Kilborn Comics. Uh, they're a seller on Hip Comics. And they're having a sale. This I think it's I think it goes on for the rest of the month. So it might still be going on if you want to check it out. It's on Hip Comics. Uh, the seller is Captain Kilborn Comics. And... Uh, basically everything that I got uh, was ten cents, twenty cents. Um, I mean, with shipping, they come out to more. You know, it's it's uh, about ninety six cents. Um, and I I almost filled up a, a short box here. You see that? This is this is the books I got. <laughs> so yeah, with shipping, they came out to ninety six cents. Um, the uh, but there's some good books in here. I I pretty much got everything I wanted out of the the uh, uh, the ten and twenty centers. But the, but they keep going up. There's th is, is I mean the sales like eighty percent off is regular prices. So I mean fifty cents were ten cents. Dollar books were twenty cents. Just crazy. Um, so and I've been I bought from them before when they've had a sale because their prices with they they do charge a little bit for shipping. That's why they they they. They, but they do a very good job of shipping. These books were all, uh, you know, they were wrapped in stacks about this thick in cellophane. And then they, they're a piece of cardboard on each end of each stack. And then they put it in a short box. And then they cellophane the entire uh, short box. So, which is good because I live in Florida. There's showers all the time. You know, if it gets left outside or something, then, it, you know, the books are protected. So, uh, they did a really good job with shipping. Um, but it is on the pricey side because of the shipping. So, uh, yeah, let me let me just swap over to the other channel here, the other camera, and we'll get started going through these books. And well, I'm not sure how far we'll get through them today. We'll go we'll go for about a half hour, and uh, I need to stretch them out a little bit because uh, I don't know how much more I'm going to be buying before the comics den show at the end of February so I wanna wanna save up some bucks for that and let's see so I've got the camera changed what am I trying to do oh I'm trying to do this here we go please like and subscribe thank you very much that's what I was trying to do <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get the light turned on so we can get rid of that glare let me let me turn that down a little bit. That's 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 awful bright. Let's try and get it down a little. Anyway, right off the bat, we've got uh, Pep number three twenty nine. This one's from nineteen seventy seven. It looks it looks more modern to that than that to me with the you know the swimsuit cover and everything. But uh, it's actually from nineteen seventy seven. It's got a rip right there, but. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, I don't care about that. It, that's it. It was um, just typical Archie stuff for the for the time. It does have this cool uh, uh, ad for records in the back that they had Abbott and Costello and the Shadow on on uh, vinyl records <laughs> in 1977 that you could buy. So that's kind of cool. Um, but let me let me just grab a stack here and we'll get started. Positioned. Uh, so what's this? This is. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I, what is it? Uh, um, Project Superpowers. That's what it is. Uh, Project Superpowers. It's one of their mini series. This is uh, Project Superpowers. Meet the bad guys. It was a four issue series. This is number three. Uh, you got this great cover by Alex Ross. Just. I mean, no spine ticks, nothing. Looks just fantastic. Look at this art. This is just gorgeous. Uh, plot and script by Joe Casey. Art by Carlos Paul. But just fantastic. I, I really I really like the looks of these Project Superpowers uh, books. And I, 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 unfortunately, this is, you know, from the wrong era that I'm collecting right now. But... Uh, uh, I, 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 you know, I, I need to make a little bit of money so I can buy more books. So that one's going in the sale. 
Um, I did buy a few of these um, to, to, to try and put in the sale. Hopefully somebody will want them. But, you know, it's all stuff that I don't mind at all if I have to keep it. So, <laughs> uh, this is uh, PSI Force, Sci Force number 30 from Marvel. Uh, I guess starring Justice. This was part of the New Universe series. They had changed their, their logo at this point. Um, this was from... Not sure what year this was from, but... Uh, Late 80s, probably. Uh, here we have Richie Rich, 188. And these were all complete. I, I always, whenever I get the books in, I always go through them and, and see if I can identify any incomplete issues of the older books. These, these were all complete issues for me. And Richie Rich Millions, number 80. And Richie Rich Profits, number 24. Got a pinball in the back like that. <laughs> uh, Rom number 72 from 1985. Secret Wars 2 crossover. And this one was interesting. Saber number 9 uh, from the Eclipse series. This one's from 1984, but this, this cover is um, looks a lot like a Mad Magazine cover type type art you got the uh, um you know woody allen down here and 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 uh it, it just it's it's an unusual cover i <laughs> uh, got showcase 93 uh, number four with catwoman geoforce and blue devil uh six from sirius number three so I started off with number one and read it and liked it. I found number two. Now here's number three. I think I only need number four to to finish up that that mini series. Uh, and then this one was Spellbinders. This is from Quality Comics, and uh, <clears throat> this is from 1987. And uh, for the time being, I'm keeping this one. It's not an American publisher. Quality was a. a based out of England, I believe. Um, but I want to take a look at it. So I, I may end up putting that in a sale. Uh, Spy Boy, Young Justice. This is number two from 2002. You got the uh, uh, Dark Horse teaming up with DC to produce this book. And I think it's a wraparound. Yeah, it's a wraparound cover. So you got uh, Impulse back there, and I don't really recognize anybody else there, so I don't know if some of them are Spy Boy characters or what, but uh, this is, pr one of these is probably supposed to be Wonder Girl. <laughs> Let's take a look, see what the art looks like. Oh, it's written by Peter David, so it should be a good story. But this was number two, I think. I don't see a number two on it, but I have two written down in my notes. So, yep, number two. Don't know how many issues there were off the top of my head. But I like uh, I like it when the companies do crossovers. I think that's cool. Uh, here we have Zorro, number six from Marvel. And Legion of Superheroes Annual Number Three. And we have the Legionnaires Number Two from uh, 1993. And yeah, that looks like a really nice copy too. No spine ticks or anything in that one. Uh, here's Legionnaires 3, number 1. This is this was a miniseries from 1986 that just featured the original three Legionnaires, Cosmic Boy, Lightning Lad, Saturn Girl. Uh, it was a four-part series. And I think we've got a couple of the issues in here. I think I, yeah, there's there's number 2. So i got 1 and 2. Uh, we have a little dot, an old 15-center from... 
1971, this is an issue number 136. They're eating candy dots off of tape, in case you don't recognize what that is. There, you see them eating it back here in the background. That's actually a, a candy that, that uh, you could buy, old-time candy. They used to have that that you could get and then eat them like that. I'd, I never tried them, so I don't know what they're like. Uh, this is me missing a chunk out of the corner, but and got a tear here, but uh, it's complete, so I'm happy. Uh, Little Lulu, this one is from 1974. This is issue number 216. And uh, Mark Hazard Merck, number 2, from 1986. Another New Universe title. I'm slowly putting the New Universe titles together. Here's number 7. And Marvel Comics Presents number 31. This one's from 1989. It's in pretty good shape. This one caught my eye because of uh, the Looney Tune characters down here in the corner. You can see the, um, you know, they're not, you know, a version of the Looney Tune characters. They've got the Bugs Bunny, the 70 Sam, Daffy Duck, Four Coin Leghorn, Roadrunner, and I guess the green guy's probably Porky Pig. But, uh, so those caught me eyes cause, my eye because it's, uh, you know, a version of the Looney Tunes characters that they apparently come across in the multiverse or something. So that should be fun. Uh, we got Micronauts number 32 from 1981, Snare of the Snow Bear. Um, this is a pretty decent copy. It's got the, the this bottom staples like on the top of the comic instead of in the side. But other than that, other than that mist staple, there's nothing right. I can see wrong with this at all. There's no, there's no ticks. There's no scratches. It, it looks like somebody just threw it in a bag and it's been there ever since. <laughs> I don't know if that's the one, that's the case or not, but that's what it looks like. Um, I already have this issue, so this will be going into a sale. Um, the pages are kind of yellowed um, a little bit. Let me. But not too bad. Not not terrible. It's appropriate for how old it is, probably. But that's a nice looking cover. There ain't nothing wrong with that cover at all. And let's see, then we got Nth Man number four. I pick those up occasionally. This one's I believe I have this one. Yep, got this one. It's got a, you know, a couple little spine ticks in it. But other than that, uh, it's got some dents in here too. So Not perfect, but pretty good. Uh, Pebbles and Bam Bam, number 22. Find, I've been finding a couple of these lately. This is from 1974. It was miscut. You can see this line on the bottom. Um, but Charlton wasn't that picky about their publishing process. So... <laughs> Uh, that's just kind of the way some of those are. Uh, but I love, love to get some, some, some more Flintstones comics. I'd love to find some of the actual Flintstones instead of Pebbles and Bam Bam. But so far, they, they uh, elude me. Uh, here we have New Titans, number 108. This one is from 1989. Uh, it's from the 1989 series. This this particular one's not from 1989. This one is from 94. But it still has Marv Wolfman writing it. So, And we have The Outsiders, number 14. From 86. Looker was framed and Halo has braces. It's fun. All right. And what do we have here? The Web Annual number one. So this is EarthQuest number one. I think we looked at an Impact Annual not uh, not way long ago, but a while back. And I said that it looked like they had a, a, a storyline going through their annuals. So this would have been the first chapter of that storyline. 
Uh, said it's got an impact trading card. Yeah, there it is. Uh, this one is for somebody called Templar. So it's still got the trading card in it. And this is from 1992, I believe. And it's, it's in relatively decent shape. Still nice and flat. And we have the World of Smallville, number two, the 1988, when John Byrne was reinventing Superman mythos. So I think I have all of the World of Krypton, I have all the World of Metropolis, I believe, and now I have two issues of this one. So I only got two more issues to go to complete that uh, trilogy. Uh, here we have Time Spirits, number two two from Epic. Let's take a look at this one. This is from 1984. I, I, Time Spirits isn't, uh, that's not a title I'm familiar with. And, uh, nice painted cover. And it's written by Steve Perry. You got Tom Yeats as the artist. And that's interesting. Andy Kubert did the lettering. <laughs> back when he was probably just learning the trade. Got some nice dinosaurs in there. Sea serpent. Uh, just looking through it, it kind of reminds me of Sinbad. I'm not really sure what the, the premise of it is since this is the second issue. Looks cool. Got a nice art in it. And let's see, we got the Jungle Twins from Gold Key. This is number nine from 1974. Got, uh, might have a loose centerfold. Some of the pages are a little hanging out there, but uh, it is all there. Uh, Warlord number one. This was the 1990. Two series. Um, just gorgeous uh, McGrell painted cover. Back when they brought Warlord back in a six issue mini series. This is number two of that same series. Just uh, nice art. Beautiful, beautiful art. McGrell does such a great job. Uh, and here's uh, from the regular Warlord series. This is number 42. I need that one. And I picked up another copy of uh, this one. This was the first appearance of Arak. Arak. Um, so we got uh, issue number 48 of the Warlord. It's got Claw as a backup. And then it's got the 16 page insert preview comic of Arak Son of Thunder done by Roy Thomas. And uh, it's got a little mark down here at the bottom. But other than that, this is a gorgeous copy. Nice uh, nice white cover. But I already have it. and uh, But one did sell in the sale. So I grabbed another one to see if that one will sell as well. Uh, I got Warlord 104. I need that one as well. I think I used to have this one. But I may just re be remembering the cover from uh, an ad or something too. Not sure. Uh, then we have Whisper number one from Capital Comics. Uh, it's another series I don't really know anything about. It's from 1983. Just uh, let's see what it looks like. Got a nice, nice cover on it. Black is all black. <laughs> no spine ticks. And it's in color. I was kind of expecting it to be black and white. Uh, written by Stephen Grant, artist by Rich Larson. Um, so most of the Capital Comics, I think, were, were taken over by First Comics after a couple issues. Um, and I think that's the same with this series, but I don't really know for sure. Well, nothing in there art-wise that really stands out to me. 
but it looks like it's got a lot of story to it, and that, and I, and I like that. I'm more of a story guy than I am art guy, although, you know, bad art will put me off, but I'll rarely pick up good art just for the art. I think I'm a little bit more like that nowadays than I used to be. Um, and of course, you know, when when you team a good story with a good artist, that's that's when the magic happens for comics. Um, X-Men The Hidden Years, this is number five. Another really nice clean copy. Most of these that I find are beat up. Um, but I am, because it features the older X-Men, I am trying to, to keep those. Uh, Zero Patrol number one from Continuity Comics. This was from 1984. Uh, we got Neil Adams on Megalith as the backup feature. And... I already have this, so this is going to go in the sale too. Another nice, really nice clean copy. Just does have this black streak on the bottom, so it may be, it may be miscut. Um, oh, this looks cool. I haven't actually read the copy that I have, so, yet. I have so many books I haven't read. I've just been collecting them and sticking them in boxes. <laughs> Someday. I want to get them all organized by years first before I start reading into this stuff. Uh, let see, then we got Zorro number two from Marvel. And uh, I keep in the, the two Zorro issues just because they're a little bit beat up. They're not in quite good enough shape for me to sell, I don't think. So I try to only sell stuff that, you know, is in really nice shape for for the age. Uh, Legion of Superheroes, this is number 306. And... I don't actually have that one on my list. I, I'm pretty sure I don't have that one, though. But it does have that neat uh, Starfield look to it that I like. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Mm. Uh, with the, uh, you know, this is Starboy, of course, from some Legion of Superheroes. Back in 1983, I had all these Legion of Superheroes. As it was one of the few titles that I that I tried to get on a regular basis back then. This one's two ninety seven, and of course, because of the fire, now I have to try to replace all of them. But and then we have Starbrand. This is the annual oh, from nineteen eighty seven. Starbrand annual number one. Uh, and that's actually about half the box. So it looks like I'm probably only going to get about two episodes out of this box. I was hoping to make it three, but uh, not going to work. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, uh, please join me tomorrow. We'll go through the next, uh, the, the rest of the short box and see what else is in there. And, uh, yeah, have a great day. Thanks for watching.